Well, okay, some more everybody's golf on PlayStation 4. Back on one of my favourite courses, Imperial Gardens. Long tees, teeny cups. Club skill high. This might be hard. I think my best score on this setup's three under. It's a par four. I don't think I've played it with custom clubs, though. So, as ever, with every course, fairways and greens is the key. And on Imperial, you've got altitude, thick rough, deep bunkers, water, pretty much everything. Of the original courses, this is by far the most challenging. And personally, it's one I really enjoy playing. There's no gimmies on this course. You earn pretty much everything you get on it. I might be a bit left. Yeah, caught the rough. Oh, if it had dropped into that pot bunker, it's an unplayable. So I'm pretty lucky there. Can we get it close? Can we get it in? Oh, so we missed the birdie. But we'll take the par with some gratitude because I nearly put it in that pot bunker. So as I said, my best score for 18 is 3 under. But we found some birdies on here. I like the symmetry down the bottom. Par, birdie, par, birdie, par, birdie, par, birdie, par. <laughs> yeah. It's a two. Against its long T, slightly different shots on some of these holes. Then you'd play on regular on regular tees. I think the pin's back right today, which is interesting. It's normally in the middle, it's a little kidney shaped green. It's normally in that little choke point, the bow tie. I know it is there. On the map. I oh, know it's to the right. Normally it's about here. So actually having it here gives you a little bit of room for manoeuvre. Gonna be an eight iron up there. Oh the left hand shot's where it could find. Made the green though. That's a makeable pop. It's a teeny cup, so we've got to be careful. But we should be able to make this. There we go. Got a birdie. It's a three. Your issue's that bunker there. Problem is, going to pitch that way. I'm almost tempted to play it short. Going to make the second shot tough, but as ever, fairways and greens is critical. You don't want to be in that bunker. I want to be on the fairway, so I'll sacrifice a little bit of length to give me that second shot. Definitely take that bunker out of play. Now we need a big shot here. They definitely can't iron. It's going to be a five, I think. Three with the brakes applied. Okay. So we got the super back inside spin. The theory is you bang it on the front of the green and it breaks like that. So not near the pin, but we're on the green for an eagle. For birdie, sorry. Looks like it stops up. Breaking to the right. I only jump. Because it will come back the tiniest bit. I don't know, it's somewhere up there. It's there. No, didn't give it enough. <sighs> Frustrating, because I could have made that. But didn't make a bogey. That's the important part. Let's get back up there. Oh, possibly the hole I hate the most on this whole game. Four. Ah, oh, come on. It's gonna be a five wood. Three iron might be the shot. The real issue is. With the irons and the woods, it just keeps going. So best to be short than long. That's okay. Ten foot for the birdie. Looks like it slopes up. I mean, for once, I've got a makeable birdie, pup. Get in there. Oh, nice 
It just kicked away, but then the back door got it. It's two under. Birdie par. Oh, I'm sorry. Par birdie, par birdie so far. It's a par four. So five. First, the split fairways. The real worry is you roll out to the right. Oh, you do that. So we've got to hit a monster out the sand here. I've got a shot, though. Very little control over the power, so it could go anywhere, really. Just got to hope you get on the putting surface. That's not bad, considering it's out the sand. It's a 12-foot typical birdie part, though. Sloping downhill. Can we get the right line? We can. Look at that. That's a bit of putting. Three under. So six. Par five with a little brook. Again, just want to take the variables out, really. Try and get a pitch this side over the brook, please. There you go. Nearly 300 yards as well. Massive second shot though, 270 to the green, which we won't make. I'm going to just play it short to here, just to try and get a good third shot at the pin. Yeah, found the fairway. 56 left. That's a beauty. So we get the birdie. Well, the birdie putt at least. I want to count my chickens. Oh! Bit of a sporty one. Four under. Ah, I've not birdied that before. This is seven. Another split fairway. Got to be careful again. This is all about the bounce, really. It's quite a bumpy fairway. And you just pitch it in the wrong spot. And it can kick left into the bunk. It kick right to the water. i got a nice flat bit, though, by the looks of it. That's pretty good. 160 left. Now, ah, there's a pot bunker there I want to avoid. So we're going to try and get some backspin on it. In any case, hit it past. Just because being longer would be better. I think we're all right. We've got a shot. Yeah, we're not in the front of it, so we've got a shot anyway. But it's not an easy one. Yeah, got it out, but it's short. So we got this tricky one for par. Looks like it slopes up. I'll drop a shot here. It's my own fault. Got it. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Do not hit those bunkers. It's the long par three, and it's tucked in a little bit as well. That pin. Oh, I don't like playing that line, if I'm honest. Power shot three is the shot for me. Well, we got the ultra backspin. So hopefully we'll get on the green. It'll grip and it'll come back. There you go. Oh, that's a tricky putt. Oh, one, by the way. Make sure. Player character. Transparent. Just trying to visualise the shot. Maybe there. Oh, that's an absolute beauty. Five under. No, I didn't doubt that one. That was a good shot. So nine. All about this obelisk. All right, try and bend it round a little. Ah, there you go. And the slope just takes it left. There you go. That's pretty good. 
take that all day. 310. So 240. So we could have a go at the green here. Oh, you see the green's hard to get. I mean, the other option is to play into the rough here and take a chip out of the rough. I'm sort of tempted to go for it. The problem is that water. Well, in for a penny. Got the ultra. This is all about where it pitches. Yeah, it got the rough, but it'll just get on the fringe. And then come back off into the rough. That's alright. We get a chip at it for the eagle, though. Good, good. Oh, you're kidding me! I can't believe that didn't drop. I mean, I'll take the birdie with gratitude, but... Ay, ay, ay. So, as a nine holes, that's pretty that's pretty good. Got the sand twice, recovered once. One two put on there on three. Otherwise that's a pretty good round. I mean look at those. The only really long putt was on eight, the twenty-two footer. Everything else, seven foot, nine foot, eleven foot, pretty good. Pretty good. Let's see what we can do on the way back. As ever, that's about setting yourself up, getting those approaches right. Always the way. Right, ten. Again, on long tees, finding this little spot here is hard. I've experimented with playing over here and you get houses in the way. The only thing I came up with it was just to play it short and then have a really big second shot. So you kind of accept you're going to be short, but you're not going to end up in those bunkers and you've got a good shot at the green. So 216. Can play the three iron here. Bit of risk because we're going to use the power shot. Got the ultra. Oh, nice shot. Nice shot. Wow. oh it's going to be short. So we're going to have to chip out the rough. You saw what happened last time. We got it to 0 0.4 feet. There you go. Got it this time. So we get one back. Good chip. You've got to, got to imagine where it's going to pitch and then pop from there, if you see what I mean. It's the way to think about it. So seven under. So 11 over the lock gates. Just having a think. What I want to do with that one. There's two choices really. We can go the conventional route, and there's this big collector bunker here that you can play into, or you can play over here, which I tend to favour. It gives you a slightly better shot at the pin, especially when the pin's on the right, like it is. Because if you're on the left, you'll be playing over that bunker or close to that bunker here. There's no real risk from that bunker because the line you're on. But you are a bit further away, 240. So we're going to have a go at it. All the backspin we can muster. Ooh. Got the ultra backspin. Now, is it long enough is the question. No, it's going to hit the front edge. Oh, man. That needed more on it. I should have known with the wind it needed more on it. That's frustrating because that's a simple mistake to make. We blew our eagle chance. Best we're going to get to the par, even with that great chip. Ah, oh, it feels like I've dropped a shot. I mean, not saying I would have got the eagle because controlling it on the green's hard, but I definitely would have had a birdie chance. Never mind. Twelve. I always do this. There's no reason why you do anything but this shot. Get a much better line at the green. 
Much less water risk. In fact, no water risk. I don't think I've ever played on that fairway. 111 to go. Pins at a nice spot today. I'll pitch him wedge up there. Oh, nice shot. Ooh. I like that. Go for the birdie. Oh, a tricky one to read. Because it's going to kind of break early and then stop breaking. There you go. Eight under. So 13. Starting to get to the trickier holes now. 13. Bit narrow, but again, if we can find the right spot, we'll be alright. Oh, missed the shot. Left or right? Right. So that's going to be in sand. Oh, I was lucky there. I've got a bounce on the rough so it isn't plugged. So that's playable out of there. Let's just do the best we can out of the rough. Out the sand, sorry. Try and get it close on the green. It's a bit long. We'll have a big putt back. Sloping down, I think. Breaks to the left. I think it does break to the left. It's about there. I'm just going to come back, come back, come back. Oh, you absolute beauty. 42 footer. Oof. Nice recovery out of the sand. Nice putt. Okay, 14. I always find this one incredibly difficult because you've got to just throw it at the um, throw it at the pin. Oh, bunker! All that right-hand shot, sweet. Best case, I'm in the front. Yeah. Careful of the line. It's a plugged. Didn't get the fly, which is important. Nice save. Right, we're out. Focus. So we got ten foot for the par. Oh, Sloping down, I think. Breaks to the right. I hate these downhill ones. You got to hit them soft. Yeah, looks it just fades. So hard to get right. Drop the shot. That's the first bogey. 14 is a difficult hole. Hole 15. It's a powerful. So 15 again. Got to find a spot on the um. Got to find a spot on here. Trying to apply a little bit of backspin to slow it. I don't want it to roll. So want to get over that lip, and then stop, please, like that. That'll do. So still got 160, 170 to go. That's going to need a smidgen more club, I think. Especially as I'm going to backspin it. Just because of where the pin is. Should just pitch there and then slow down. Oh, that's pretty good. Eight foot for the buddy. And that shot straight back. Nine under. So 16 is the par five. Ooh. Downwind, but my favourite skip isn't on. We're going to just play safe shot here. Played this shot so many times now to this little corner. And the second shot just short of the water. So 328 left. We're going to try and hit it about 250. Oh, good shot. And that should give us a nice shot of the green. Actually, being short is better because you're more level with the green. If you keep going down the hill, you've got an uphill chip. Okay. Okay. 
I've got the ultra backspin, but I think it's short. Depends on the wind. No, it's long. Oh, go on, that's got a chance. Oof. Vicious backspin. Bit of a tricky uphill putt on the slope. No, no, no. Oh! I thought that was low. Ten under. So 17 to the last par three. A nice pin. A bit close to the front though, so we're going to have to backspin it. Oh, that's going to hit the front and die. Yeah, look at that. So we're going to have to chip it. Go on. Oh, I didn't have the legs. Gonna have to take a par there. That was all about the tee shot, wasn't it? Fairways and greens. And 18, par four. It's a par four. I definitely think playing this mode has improved my skills a little bit. There's 10 unders, not gonna be a bad score for this course in this mode. Oh, got a cheeky little bounce there. One eighty-seven to the pin. Again, probably have to go back spin here. Oh, that needs to clear the front of that bunk. No. I always struggle with the wind. That's the one part of my game I think I'd like to improve. Just read that win better. So got this for par. Having said I'd like 10 under, I've actually got to pull this tricky part for it. Got it. Oh, it's 10 under. New best score. Not just an elite best, but actually my best ever score around here. Mistakes were made, but oh, that's a pretty good score. Stacks should be interesting. Definitely missed a few fairways. Missed a couple of greens, but 70s, 80s? Yeah, 80s on fa fairways. 60s on greens, but then you're throwing the ball at it a little bit. I like it. So hope you enjoyed that. Please like, share and subscribe. Please leave me a comment, and I'll see you next time for a bit more Everybody's Golf.